This is how you can make a mention system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by getting a god tier subscription on Discord or a super or god tier subscription on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots that have a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to start by going over to events, and we can go ahead and create mention.js in here we're going to go ahead and define a couple of things so we can get our slash command builder we're also going to get our action row builder we can get our button builder we can get our button style and we're also going to get our embed builder then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and define our discord.js package next we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up it's going to be name which is going to be our message create you can also use a client.on event within your index.js then we can do async and we can go ahead and get our message and we can go ahead and get our client and we're also going to do async execute not just async so we can do execute and then we can actually go ahead and open this up here so in here we're going to do async function and we're going to write out our send message function and we can get reply and we can go ahead and open this up so we're going to go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color this is going to be blurple and we can go ahead and set a title and this is going to be want to use me or you could do whatever you really want this is going to be like a ping message so for example if i go ahead and ping mod mail. Uh, this is the example of the mod mail within my Discord server. Obviously, it's tailored to this specific bot's functionality because it's mod mail, it's going to be need help, and it's going to say some basic information. In here, we can just do that, and we can go ahead and set a description. And within this, we can just go ahead and get a string. I've gone ahead and written all of this out, but again, this is going to be based off of what your bot is. So just go ahead and fill in that description based off of what your bot is actually about. Then we can go ahead and set a timestamp. And then after we do that, we're going to handle some logic so we can say, if and we can do no reply then we can go ahead and open this up here and all we have to do is await message dot reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and that is going to be our embed just like that so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to say else and we can go ahead and do embed dot set footer we can do text and in here we're going to go ahead and say if this message should not have been sent use the delete button below just like that so what this is going to do is if we actually go ahead and reply to a bot message, then we can go ahead and send the exact same message that we sent above. But this time we're going to add a delete button just in case that reply is kind of in the way and we want to get rid of it. Obviously, a mention is going to be pretty specific. So they're only going to be mentioning the bot if they actually need it. But if they're replying to a bot's message, it could be out of context. So then we're going to go ahead and do const button equals new action row builder. And then we can go ahead and do dot add components. And we can do our new button builder. And we're going to go ahead and set our custom ID to reply msg delete and we can also go ahead and set our label i'm going to go ahead and make this a trash can emoji because it's symbolizing deleting something then we can go ahead and set our style to button style dot danger then we can go ahead and add a semicolon here and we're going to come down here we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do const msg equals await message dot reply we can get our embeds and we're going to also get our embed so this is going to be doing the exact same thing we did above with our reply but this time we have a different embed and we're also going to go ahead and add our components which is going to be our button component so now we're going to do cons collector equals await msg.create a message component collector. So we're going to go ahead and create our button collector. And then we can go ahead and do collector.on. And we're going to go ahead and do collect. And we can do async i. And we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to say if. And we can go ahead and do the i.custom id is equal to our reply message delete custom id. Then we can actually go ahead and open this up. And we're going to run our code in here, which is simply going to be await message. So msg.delete just like that. So after we've handled all of that within our function, just keep in mind, this is not actually going to be sending. We have to use some logic down below. Now we can actually go ahead and write that logic and use the function we just created. So we're going to come outside of this function down here and we can go in and say if message.mentions.users.first and then we can do is equal to our client.user. Then we can go ahead and open this up. Then this, we're going to do another logical statement. We're going to go ahead and say if message.reference, then we can go ahead and open this up as well. So what our message reference is, is a message reply. So what this is basically saying is if the reply is pinging the bot, so if I'm replying to the bot, then we're going to handle that. And all we have to do is await send a message, which is our function, and we can go ahead and set that to true as our reply. Then we're going to go ahead and say else, and we can do await send message, and we're not going to set anything. 
because we do not need to. All we need to set is true if it is a reply, and then it will treat it as true. And if we don't put anything into our function, then it's just gonna go ahead and return false, meaning it's only gonna go ahead and send the embed without the button components. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire system. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. It's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is mention the bot. And as you can see, it's gonna give us our little mention reply, basically saying, this is me, this is the bot, this is how you can use me. Then we can go ahead and just string it together. We can do the bot in a string. And as you can see, even if there's other text within that string, it's still gonna go ahead and reply with that message. Now let's go ahead and run a command. We can do our looking for group and we can just go ahead and say a game. Obviously this is gonna return as nothing because nobody's playing it in here. And actually it's not gonna work for this because this is an infernal message. Um, but we can go ahead and run another command that's not infernal. This time we can do emojify and we can just say hi. And so now we can actually go ahead and reply. So let's just go ahead and say hi back. And as you can see, because we're replying to the bot, it's gonna go ahead and send that same ping message. But this time it's gonna go ahead and say, if this message should not have been sent, use the delete button below. And all we have to do is simply click on that delete button and that message will go away. It's that straightforward and simple. So that's you can make an advanced dimension system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.